What's up, everybody? We are here. It is Monday. We finally made it. I am with our first strong coach of the week, Miss Bridget Behrman. Uh, she is a national leader around health and wellness, and she is going to be our coach when it comes to this really important first week around achieving goals. Now, Bridget, you have a big announcement for this group. We have a collective goal that we are going to do as a group. This is our big thing that we're going to really try to hold each other accountable. What is that goal? That goal for everyone is to get up five days a week, moving 20 minutes every time. Can okay. you do that? I mean, 20 minutes, I, that's a walk around the neighborhood. And that would count, absolutely. right? Yeah, I can walk absolutely. around the neighborhood with my family. I think I can do that. And I can conclude like 20 minutes of yoga and kind of like we, stretch, just move, right? Just any type of movement okay. to get your body in that normal movement for 20 minutes at a time. Okay, you heard her. So that's our goal. Five days a week, 20 minutes a day. I think I can do that. Okay, now. so we have our goal that we're going to do, but I know you've got some tips to help us be successful. What are those tips? First and foremost, find your accountability partner. So Jeff, who's your accountability buddy? I asked my wife last week, I said to her that we we're going to do this together. So that's a note for you. Find a friend, find a neighbor, find anybody in your family and get them to sign up for strong. It's absolutely free. Okay, friends. So you have your accountability partner. Got him. Jeff's got his wife. Who do you have? Write them down. The next thing is write them down. You're 50% more likely to hit every one of those goals if you write them down. We have this handy dandy tracker, Jeff. Yeah, so this is awesome. So you can download this from the site and basically you just wanna look at the strong site. There's a ton of different activities. We're gonna talk about that in a second, but mark down which you wanna do each day because like she said, you're 50% more likely to do them if you write them down. I would also say one of the other things we're gonna do is put it in a prominent place. I would say like your fridge, your mirror in your bathroom, mm -hmm. going out the door, somewhere where you can see it and the people that you've asked to hold you accountable can see it as well. Absolutely. Right? Okay, cool. Yeah. Now, tip three, you're gonna talk a little bit about, yes, we're gonna move, but what are things that we're gonna to need to do throughout the six week to really help us with the fuel side of part of what we do, because we can move all day, but if we're not fueling right, we're not eating right, that's a big issue. Talk to us about that. So Jeff, what is the fuel that you prefer to put in your body right now? Well, I have to be honest, I've been stress eating quite a bit with COVID, and so uh, cereal at night, to popcorn, to pizza is my favorite, I like ice cream. I think I'm like pretty much a lot of Americans out there, and I know that it's, <laughs> I've added a lot of weight. So here's the best part. We're going to talk about very easy ways to clean up that fuel. We're going to talk about how you're going to prep, how you're going to plan those meals, how you're going to make those small changes to make a difference lifelong, because we want you to move better and what you put in your body will help you move way more efficiently. Yeah. So let's talk about that. You'll get many tips coming soon. Right now, I've just not been balancing well. So I'm excited for those tips. All right, so let's leave on this note. I hope you guys are ready for our big goal. And we're going to do five days a week, 20 minutes a day. We're going to start eating cleaners. So you're going to help us with that. Bridget, you've accomplished marathons and Ironman. And you were like, the, you've achieved so many goals in life. What's some words of wisdom you can leave as we part and get ready for this week? So we want to grow. We want to grow stronger together, and that's the most important part because when you graduated high school, how did you feel the day that you walked across that stage? It was awesome. How did you feel when you first did your first 5K or your first push-up? Uh, it was pretty cool, too. It's movement forward. It's you growing as a person and growing stronger, not physically. Is always, you know, physically is not the only thing, but mentally and emotionally, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be stronger together all around, and we're going to do it together. So that's it. I mean, if you guys think like my spot, COVID has really stunted a lot of our growth. I mean, that's the way to look at it. It has really stunted us. It's time to hit reset. It's time to get going. And I'm excited to grow and achieve those goals with you and with you. Let's do this. We'll give an air for There we yeah. go. And uh, we'll see you soon.